darkness open my eyes let me
can I be the bad guy? I want to be the bad guy tonight. I'm going to invite everybody to come forward. You guys are all over the place, and if we can stand up and all come, come forward into these first two pews up front. No, no you're fine up here in, the, in row two. Yeah, come on up here. Mom, Dad, come on. <laughs> so as you're moving forward... Uh, I think Brady, Brady Wickman, uh, is going to be our song leader and musician tonight, and I am very, 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 very thankful that he's here tonight. Uh, as is in the summer, sometimes when there's things going on, everybody's got something happening. So when our musician goes to a wedding and then starts uh, asking people, and he's all of a sudden getting nervous, like, uh-oh, is it going to be a cappella on Saturday night? I said, we'll try it if we need to. So thank you, Brady, for being here. So with Brady being here, yay. <laughs> also means that uh, we'll be singing songs out of this Refresh Worship Songbook. The words should be up on the screen. Uh, if We're hoping it matches what is in the book as well, but we'll follow Brady's direction when we come to those songs. So, I don't know, maybe we'll just do the other gathering hymn. Just start? Let's start. Let's start. Everybody stand up. You're going to sing along with me tonight because we're worshiping tonight. So um, stand up. Say hi to your neighbor first. Let's do that. We're going to sing, Here I Am to Worship. Sing with me. Light of the world, you step down into darkness. Open my eyes, let me see. Beauty that made this heart adore you. Hope of a life spent with you. Here I am to worship, here I am to bow down, here I am to say that you're my God, you're all together lovely, all together worthy, all together wonderful to me. King of all days. of all days, oh so highly exalted, glorious in heaven above. Humbly you came to the earth you created, all for love's sake you came for. So here I am to worship, sing it out. Here I am to worship, here I am to bow down. Here I am to say that you're my God. You're all together lovely, all together worthy, all together wonderful to me. And I'll never know how much it costs to see my sin upon that cross and I'll never know how much it costs to see my sin upon that cross so 
Here I am to worship. Here I am to bow down. Here I am to say that you're my God. You're all together lovely, all together worthy, all together wonderful to me. All right, you can have a seat for a moment. If you are worshiping with us for the first time, second or third time, welcome. We're glad that you are here. We do have communion tonight, and this is the Lord's table, and I hope that you know that all are welcome. We'll give some instruction as we get closer to the communion time. Also, a big thank you. This week we had lots of little ones running around all over inside the church and outside the church. If you happen to stop by, you will know that we had Vacation Bible School and Day Camp. It takes a lot of folks to make that happen, so we greatly appreciate all those who were involved as well as those families who signed up their young ones to be a part of that, so we greatly appreciate it. <clears throat> Uh, next weekend, we are going to invite Bishop Zelmer to be with us for preaching. He'll preach at the Saturday night service, and then on Sunday, he'll preach, and then we'll also do a recognition of both Pastor Larry and Pastor Herp to celebrate the 60th anniversary of their ordination. That's my, In comparison, David and I have been pastors for 15 years, so, you know, a little bit of a different uh, number there, but we'd want to celebrate with them. And since we are a congregation that does milestones, this is a milestone. So there's other adult milestones that we want to start thinking about ways in which to celebrate together in this community and in this space. Those are all the announcements I'm going to make tonight. We don't need any others, so we're going to sing again. Nice job. Can I have them stand up again? Yeah, all right, stand up. Here we go. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you. Say that again. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart, I want to see you, I want to see you, to see you high and lifted up, shining in the light of your glory, pour out your power and love as we sing. Holy, holy, holy. Oh, holy, holy, holy. Holy, holy, holy. Holy, holy, holy. holy. I want to see. You may be seated for our time of confession and forgiveness as well as the prayers of the community. Blessed be the Holy Trinity, one God who forgives all our sin, whose mercy and love endures forever. Amen. Seeking reconciliation with God and neighbor, let us remember the gift of baptism and confess our sin. God of mercy, we confess that we have sinned against you, against one another, and against the earth entrusted to our care. We are worried and distracted by many things, and we fail to love you above all else. We store up treasures for ourselves and turn away from our neighbors in need. Forgive us that we may live in the freedom of your Son. Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 
When we were laid low by sin and guilt, God made us alive together with Christ, forgiving us and all our trespasses by taking our sins to the cross. For freedom, Christ has set us free. Rejoice in God's good news. Amen. Let us pray. We join our voices with God's people around the world. We offer our prayers for those who are in need, for those who are needing to know that they are loved. Oh God, we pray for the church throughout the world, for its leaders, and for all who work for the Spirit. Unite us in Christ to proclaim the wonders of God. We pray for the majesty of your creation, O oh God, for the moon and the stars that enlighten the night, for the birds that inhabit the sky, the fish that reside in the seas, and all creatures that flourish together. O oh God, we pray for all level, levels of government, for wisdom and truth displayed in world leaders, and for international relief agencies. May your love be poured into our hearts to extend to all people and to all nations. Eternal God, we are mindful of prayers for those who are sick, those who need to be comforted, those who despair, and those that need to receive hope. We pray for those that we name before you now tonight. We pray for Linda, Carolee, Hazel, Charlene, Allen, Mark, Thomas, Donna, Orland, Charlotte, George, Leona, Raleigh, Bill, Tricia, Florence, Mary, Lori, Nick, Christy, Zane, Mark, Karen, Jeff, Kevin, Tim, Bobby, Michael, Glenn, Robert, Anna, Liz, Kathy, Arlene, Samuel, Kenny, Faye, Suzanne, Jim, Shannon and Haley, Connie, as well as all military first responders and their families. Oh God, we pray for all who provide fatherly care and guidance, for those that may be estranged from family, for friends and neighbors, we pray for our congregation as well as our neighboring congregations, that God's mercy serve as a model for all our relationships. Merciful God, you hear the prayers of your people even before they are spoken. You hear the prayers that we even don't know how to put into words. We commend them all to you, trusting in your abundant mercy through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to you. I want to see you. To see you high. To see you high and lifted up. Shining in the light of your glory. Pour out your power and love as we sing holy, holy. Holy, 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 I want to see you. Say it one more time, holy, holy. Holy, 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 holy. Holy, 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 I want to see you. Our 
All right, we're going to give this a go. Here you go. You are my strength when I am weak. You are the treasure that I seek. You are my all in all. Seeking you as a precious jewel. Lord, to give up, I'll be a fool. You are my all in all. Jesus, Lamb of God, worthy is your name. Jesus, Lamb of God, worthy is your name. Taking my sin, my cross, my shame, rising again, I bless your name. You are my all in all. When I fall down, you pick me up. When I am dry, you fill my cup. You are my all in all. Jesus. Jesus, Lamb of God, worthy is your name. Jesus, Lamb of God, worthy is your name. Sing that one more time. Jesus, Lamb of God, worthy is your name. Jesus, Lamb of God, worthy is your The first reading tonight is from Proverbs chapter 8, verses 1 through 4. Does not wisdom call, and does not understanding raise her voice? On the heights, beside the way, at the crossroads, she takes her stand. Besides the, beside the gates in front of the town, at the entrance of the portals, she cries out, To you, O people, I call, and my cry is to all that live. The Lord created me at the beginning of his work, the first of his acts of long ago. Ages ago I was set up at the first before the beginning of the earth. When there were no depths, I brought forth, I was brought forth, when there were no springs abounding with water. Before the mountains had been shaped, before the hills, I was brought forth when he had not yet made the earth and fields, or the world's first bits of soil. When he established the heavens, I was there. When he drew a circle on the face of the deep, when he made firm the skies above, when he established the fountains of the deep, when he assigned to the sea its limit so that the waters might not transgress his command, when he marked out the foundations of the earth, then I was beside him like a master worker, and I was daily his delight, rejoicing before him always, rejoicing in his inhabited world, and delighting in the human race. Our second lesson tonight is from the book of Romans, chapter 5, verses 1 through 5. Therefore, since we are justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have obtained access to his grace in which we stand, and we boast in our hope of sharing the glory of God. And not only that, but we also boast in our sufferings, knowing that suffering produces endurance, and endurance produces character, and character produces hope, and hope does not disappoint us. Because God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit, that has been given to us. Here ends the reading. Please rise for the gospel.
Our gospel reading tonight is from John, the 16th chapter. Jesus said, I still have many things to say to you, but you cannot bear them now. When the Spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all the truth. For he will not speak on his own, but will speak whatever he hears, and he will declare to you the things that are to come. He will glorify me because he will take what is mine and declare it to you. All that the Father has is mine. For this reason I said that he will take what is mine and declare it to you. Here ends our gospel reading. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You may be seated and be careful going through the cords as you make your way up for the puppets tonight. I was glad to see you guys were here tonight. So, yeah, short. I'm going to check on the puppets, see if they're ready. All right. So around here, we have to welcome the puppets out. We count, and then we say, puppets come out, right? I'm just checking on them. It's been a long day, so they got to, yep, I think they're, yep, they're awake. All right. All right, one, two, three. Puppets, come out. Lord, I want to see you. Come on, Lord, I want to see you. Please. Packy, what's going on? Dog, I've got big problems. I want to see Jesus, and I want to see Jesus right now. What problems, and why do you need to see Jesus? Just big problems. You cannot help, and I have been worshiping Jesus all this time, and I have never, ever, ever seen Jesus. Are you sure? Yes. Are you really sure? Yes, I'm sure. Are you really, really sure? Well, what are you saying? That Maybe you have seen Jesus and that you really do not realize that. Well, where have I seen Jesus? Have you ever been really scared and then someone was able to comfort you? Yes. Have you ever been given, forgiven when you've done something wrong? Oh, yes. Have you ever felt love even when you felt like you didn't deserve it? Yes. Jesus was there when you needed to be comforted. Wow! Jesus was there when you were forgiven. Wow! Jesus was there when you felt loved. Wow! So Jesus was there all those times? Jesus is everywhere. Wait, Jesus is Everywhere? Yep. Jesus is everywhere. Well, that makes me feel a lot better. Well, maybe you can just tell Jesus what you need and see if he can help. Well, that would be so awesome. Jesus, can you help me find room in my pack for my B-1 bomber? What? That is why I need to see Jesus. He will know how to fit everything in my pack. I need to clear room now for the new B-1 bomber. Packy, let's go. I think I need to lie down. Hey, I've got a bed in my pack. Let's go. Goodbye, Goodbye everyone. everyone.
If you're a dad, you're not afraid to work hard. Never give up. Never compromise. And the best dads always look for ways to get better. I'm looking for something to energize me. I'm looking for something to push me further. And I'm looking for something to go with these nachos. Dad Fuel, the energy drink designed just for dads. So I can finish the fight. So I can finish the race. So I can finish mowing the lawn. And later on, I might watch some golf. The fuel dads need to do the things dads do. Climb the highest peak. Go the furthest distance. Check the scores. Read the newspaper. Give amazing relationship advice. Why are you crying? You should really talk to your mother about that. Dad Fuel comes loaded with taurine, ginseng, and 100% of your daily recommended value of Hi Hungry, I'm Dad. I start every morning with the four Ds. Devos, donuts, Dad Fuel, down blanket. Breakfast of champions, baby. Now available in four bold flavors. Original orange, grow model raspberry, grow master mango, and I thought I told you to take out the garbage grape. You can't touch my passion. You can't touch my drive. And you definitely can't touch my thermostat. No way. So whether you're thirsty for victory or just plain thirsty. No, seriously, it's empty. Can I get another one? Dad Fuel. Because I am fearless. Because I am unstoppable. Because the players on TV aren't going to yell at themselves. Come on! Throw the ball! Okay, that was just for fun. So David hasn't seen that one, and I kind of picked that one out because he, he goes to CrossFit, and he takes Corbin, our oldest, with him. So I think they'll connect with that, and they'll get to laugh a little bit. But seriously, happy Father's Day to those of you who happen to be fathers and those of you who are a part of young people's lives and help them out. We greatly appreciate what you do. Let us pray. Lord God, may the words of my mouth, the meditation of our hearts and minds be acceptable unto you, our rock and our redeemer. Amen. In John 16, Jesus said, I still have many things to say to you, but you cannot bear them now. And Jesus wasn't talking about what we call the doctrine of the Trinity, but I think he might as well have been. Because when you think about how do you explain this idea of this thing that we call the doctrine of the Trinity, Trinity that we don't find that specific word in the Bible, so how do we talk about it and how do we understand it? Jesus could have been saying, you just aren't going to understand everything about me at this time. You see, doctrines, these ideas that we have in the church, are used and there to help us to describe how God is revealed in the Bible. And we don't worship those doctrines. We want to reveal what, we worship what they reveal. So in this case, we worship God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Some people call this day Math Day. Because they say it's somehow this day where three actually equals one. That somehow Father, Son, and Holy Spirit equals God together. It's one. And again, it's hard to understand. It's hard to describe how can there be three and yet there be one. But a doctrine isn't simply something that you want to make sure everybody believes correctly but it's there to help us so that we act out our faith, that we can share God's love, or to put it another way, it's not just what we say, but it's about what we do. If we get too caught up in thinking, well, I have to say this correctly, and I have to explain the Trinity correctly, and we get caught up in that, we'll never move to acting on our faith or to living out what it means that God comes to us as Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. So if there's one thing to think about, it's to remember that it's not just about a doctrine. It first has to be about relationships. And for those of you who've been here and have heard us talk through our vision process, that might sound familiar to you. It's not about programs, 
but we want it to be about people, about one another, our relationship with God and with one another. So how do we live out our faith? What helps us along the way when we are having our daily faith journeys from day to day? For that, I turn to that beautiful passage that Tom read from Proverbs. Because remember, God promises to be there for us, just as God was with creation in the beginning. Does not wisdom call and does not understanding raise her voice? It says in Proverbs 8. Now I just want to make a note of Proverbs 8. We don't often have Proverbs that we get to hear read in worship together. And Proverbs 8 is a beautiful passage. And some people are surprised when they hear the feminine pronouns, wisdom, she, her, and they might take a step back and go, what's happening in that passage? But when you study scripture in Hebrew, you'll understand that wisdom is a feminine noun. And if you've ever studied other languages, you know that sometimes they have masculine words and they had feminine words, and it depends on the article that you attach to it. And oftentimes, what I hear is people putting a gender to it. And then they get a little frustrated or angry if they hear, even if God being referred to with feminine pronouns. I don't know if you've ever caught yourself in that place. But understand that in the Bible, there's all these beautiful imageries using God as the mother hen who takes her wing upon her chicks. There's all these images, and I think they're there for a reason, to remind us that all people are created in the image of God. And when you're created in the image of God, you'd like God to look like who you are. So that's why I think artists who have that gift of in different cultures that they will create a picture of Jesus or of God or the Holy Spirit that will look like them because they want to know that they are created in the image of God. And I think this is the same for language as well. When that language, they want to hear that God, they are gods. So that use of the language can be a part of how they feel included. So this passage from Proverbs about wisdom is one that includes more people knowing that God is about wisdom. And sometimes we have to be mindful of the things that we're used to holding us back from being open to how God is calling out to us. So if we hear that, Proverbs 8 again, does not wisdom call and does not understanding raise her voice. Wisdom, we are told, is God's companion and witness to God's creation. Wisdom is a part of God's very identity. And amazingly, as I was told this week at a tech study where we get together and study all these passages with a group of other rostered leaders and pastors, that wisdom happens to be one of the sacred virtues of the Lakota people and is also a part of the creation story that they tell. There's similarities between those two stories. And God's wisdom is spoken about and given to us as a way to help us understand God's word and a way for us to know how to live in God's creation, this creation that's made up of all different kinds of people who all are created in the image of God. And all people have different talents, experiences, gifts, cultures, and stories to share. God's wisdom becomes a guide for us to live out our faith. So how do we at Calvary, as a community of God, reflect the character of God as lived out as God the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit? Now this is a question that we're pondering and asking as we think about how do we live into our new guiding statement so it isn't just something we say at the end of worship, but it's something that we do and we live out in God's name. Will we allow the Holy Spirit to take us to new places and to do new things so that we don't limit God's work? Because the Holy Spirit will guide us to places that we may not have picked for ourselves. 
the Holy Spirit may move us as a church to be a people that we never thought we were called to be. And yet that's what happens when the power of the Holy Spirit is let loose. And we have said, yes, we are ready as a congregation. Let's go and be God's people in the community in ways that we may not yet even know what they are. Because a part of this process, as we follow God's Spirit to serve our neighbors out of God's love, has led us to a partnership that we've mentioned and will continue to mention with Wyatan Lutheran. We're becoming this anchor church. We're supporting one another. We don't know everything that that will look like right now. So pray for Wyatan and pray for Calvary. But what we do know is that we've heard from you and we've heard from Wyatan is that we want to get to know each other. We want to build relationships. We want to support the ministries that we have going on and maybe even create new ones. We will walk alongside one another and share our faith, share our stories, and share our culture for the sake of the good news of God. Our congregational leadership, our council, has also said, how will this take place? What would we like to see happen? We would like to see congregational members, we'd like to see you to be able to live out your passions that you have for God. They are hoping to be supportive of the things that you are involved in so that we can celebrate and live out our values together. It might not be the way the church has always been done, but it's a way to live into those relationships that we're called to live into and make our vision not just a nice statement on paper, but make it into reality. And I'm thankful that during this time that we think about it, we'll have the wisdom of God with us. We'll have the prayers of one another with us. Well, David Loos writes that being a part of a Trinitarian community is a community that looks outward. It bears witness to the peace of God in Christ in order to respond to the need of the neighbor. It's the same as what we heard in Romans 5. It's when God's love is poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit that has been given to us. We have that poured into our hearts we have the Holy Spirit to guide us so that we can live into these relationships with the Trinity by hearing God's word as promises, not just for me, but for all people. We live into this relationship with the Trinity when we love God's word and we use it daily. As many of you do, you open the Bible and you read those words and you pray and ponder how you can live them out. We live into this relationship with the Trinity when we are thinking of ways to give God's word to others. Maybe it's not by what we say, but it's by what we are doing for our neighbor. And we do all this because God's love has been poured out into your hearts through the Holy Spirit. Without even having to fully understand what the Trinity means, we already are having that be reflected in what we say at the end of each worship service when we share that tagline. Reach up, reach in, reach out. Reach up, we reach up to God the Father. Reach in, we reach in in our relationship with God the Son with one another when we come together to worship, when we gather at the table and we eat the same meal that strengthens us and when we fellowship together. And then we reach out in relationship to God the Holy Spirit when the Holy Spirit moves us and pushes us outward to live out our faith, to share that with our neighbors. So that is my prayer this evening. We'll close in a prayer, is that we begin to pray about how we will continue to live into our vision, our mission, and our values, knowing that God comes to us in many different ways as well. So let us pray. We thank you, God, that you are there for us in many different ways. When we need wisdom, you are there. When we need hope, someone from our community is there to walk alongside of us. We thank you for you are God the Father who made all things. You are God the Son who died to save all people. 
and you are God the Holy Spirit who helps people believe. Amen. Let us pray. God of all creation, all you have made is good and your love endures forever. You bring forth bread from the earth and fruit from the vine. Nourish us with these gifts that we might be for the world signs of your gracious presence. In Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. In the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread, gave thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. Again, after supper, he took the cup, gave thanks, and gave it for all to drink, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for all people, for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in remembrance of me. As God's beloved children, we join our voices together to pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. This is the Lord's table and all are welcome. We will have one station in the front. And so we'll start on one side and then we'll shift over to the other. And a reminder, if you can't come forward, we'll have somebody come to you with communion.
I see your face in every sunrise. The colors of the morning are inside your eyes. The world awakens at the light of the day. I look up to the sky and say, you're beautiful. power in the moonlit night where planets are in motion and galaxies are bright we are amazed in the light of the stars it's all proclaiming who you are you're beautiful Sitting on your heavenly throne Soon we will be coming home You're beautiful is just a memory and tears are no more we'll enter in as the wedding bells ring your bride will come together and we'll sing your beautiful
The body and blood of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, strengthen you and keep you in his grace. Amen. Let us pray. God of abundance with this bread of life and cup of salvation, you have united us with the Christ, making us one with all your people. Now send us forth in the power of your spirit that we may proclaim your redeeming love to the world and continue forever in the risen life of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I think Brady probably wants us to stand. Yeah, please stand. Thanks for coming up forward too. That was that was great. <laughs> All right, sing with us. This is this is or sing with me. It's ten thousand reasons. Please sing with us. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh my soul. Worship his holy name. Sing like never before, oh my soul. I worship your holy name. The sun comes up, it's a new day dawning. It's time to sing your song again. Whatever may pass and whatever lies before me. Let me be singing when the evening comes. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh my soul. Worship His holy name. Sing like never before, oh my soul. I worship Your holy name. You're rich. You're rich in love and you're slow to anger. Your name is great and your heart is kind. For all your goodness I will keep on singing. Ten thousand reasons for my heart to find. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh my soul, I worship His holy name. Sing like never before, oh my soul, I worship Your holy name. on that day when my strength is failing the end draws near and my time has come still my soul will sing your praise unending ten thousand years and then forever more Bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh my soul, I worship His holy name. Sing like never before, oh my soul, I worship Your holy name. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh my soul I worship his holy name sing like never before oh my soul I worship your holy name I worship your holy name Lord I worship your holy Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless you now 
and forever. Amen. We welcome and inspire all with grace, courage, and love. Reach up, reach in, reach up.